right, here it comes. So got the Ventrac and then the DR Power Grader, it's called. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you doing on this beautiful home day? Wednesday. So we're at the storage facility. We're going to get some parking lot work done here today. We're going to do it. Yes. Really just, uh, well, I don't want to spoil it for you, but we're going to hop into the video. And we got an estimate, guys. December, what's the date, TQ? 15th, I think it is. Des the middle of December for lawn care. So we're going to check that out and we'll come right back. Let's go. All right, guys. So believe it or not, got a call for lawn care. So a gentleman just bought this home here and uh, just moved into the area from a few hours away, um, if I remember correctly. So they would like to get it mowed before winter really sets in. So gonna walk around it. She did say her husband was here, but she's not. So we're gonna take a quick look at it. Looks fairly simple. I was surprised though, being, what, uh, what is it, Wednesday in December. I don't even know the date. Guessing goes that tree line. She didn't say anything about landscaping, so yeah, be a quick $65 cut. So welcome back. Yeah, I can't believe it either. Lawn care in December, but totally understandable. They just bought the place. They're going to fix it up and probably sell it. But we have the Ventrac. We have the DR power grader here that we picked up from Schleybaz. I've never used one of these, so this is going to be a bit of a learning curve. So, uh, I guess stick around here. TQ and myself are gonna figure it out. And uh, simply from what we're being told, it uh, it lifts the rock up and then smooths it out. So I'll kind of show you here. It has a power cable they use with the controls. These teeth kind of rip it up, like tearing the soil, I guess you could say. And then it comes up and it'll hit those and smooth it out. At least that's the uh, dumbed down version of what it's supposed to do, I guess. <laughs>
really hard. I'm wondering if it needs lowered a little more. to do is just what do you say this no this one right yeah pull that out and just lower it I'm trying to remember how you said to do it is it this one yeah this should just pop out I'm, something's missing here It was just the way they made it, I don't know. Hold on, I gotta put it down, I think. We're learning, we're learning. Oh, you gotta, yeah, put it back up. Shove the wheels going. Yeah, it's pulling that thing there. Okay, pull up on pull up on that. There you go. Did I go lower? You went one notch lower, yeah. Did I go more? Let's do a little bit there and see what it does. Cause it's it's bringing it up. It's just so hard. Yeah. It's been probably here for 50, 60 years of slag. Someone needs to de-weed this parking lot. That will probably be me. <laughs> Got it? Yep. Hold down. So I don't know if you can't tell what I'm doing. There's a low spot right here. I'm kind of trying to fill it in. That's why I'm pulling it all this way. I fast forwarded this part because it had a reverse effect that actually made it worse. So after going around two or three times here, we figured out, hey, that didn't work. What? Is that all the lower the teeth can go? Yeah, I think the way we went actually raised them up. It's not allowing them to go as deep. That's all the way. Here, watch, I'll put it back up. I think going the other way actually puts it deeper. Doesn't seem like it, but I think it just the way it pivots. Because the, the back part of it's not even catching anything. Yeah, it's it's not allowing it like this to go as deep. So we'll come up. This is just on a spring. It's kind of hard to do one hand. Is that the one we were in? No. You're up one more than what you were. Let's try it like this. We don't know. We've never used it before. Yeah. Before. I mean, it's it's doing something. It's definitely... It's doing it. Loosening it up.
of it's definitely catching now and sifting through it. This is that low spot he was talking about. We just left all of that extra that it was picking up here. Right here, I'm just picking up material from some of the higher spots and putting it into the lower spots. And then I'll do a bunch of passes in a circular motion to kind of smooth it all out, make it look uniform. like he's doing softball fields again.
any more there? guys so after you kind of get the hang of it lifting it lowering it putting the material in the low spots uh it works really really good i'll be honest with you like at first i was kind of like man this kind of isn't doing what we thought but after making a few adjustments dude this thing works phenomenal i don't know what these retail for i guess i could ask ruben ruben rents them but uh yeah if you were looking to do some gravel man i mean we've probably been here 25 minutes and this whole entire area looks pretty darn good. I mean, it's starting to rain on us, so that's why it's kind of a little bit darker looking. But that'll wash a wash, uh, also wash the rock off. So uh, let's move on here real quick. We got to get some stuff done. <laughs> Need some goose. TQ will fill you in here in a second with where all this gravel came from here. But what I'm also doing here that she didn't mention is the sidewalk is completely buried under this gravel. So I'm just trying to pull some of this material out of here so I can get it uncut. So there's a lot of gravel here piled up from them uh, plowing. And uh, he's just kind of trying to get it pulled back as much as he can back into the lot. So as I have more time here, we'll probably bring a dingo down and remove some of this material at the back side as well. We haven't fully decided. It's not hurting anything. It just kind of uh, makes water pull into our lot when it shouldn't have to. But I understand it as well. That's where they've always plowed at. walking back trying to see if the GoPro was still going or not yeah it is so this is the, all the material it's just a mixture honestly of slag and blacktop and looks like some 57 limestone in there and all different kinds of material so what this is gonna do is agitate some of that dirt up break it loose smooth it out and bring the rock back to the surface if you can look it literally brings that rock back up and this thing fills up with nothing but rock. The dirt goes to the bottom and then the rock just kind of stays in there and dumps right back on top as you break up the material.
And it works really good, guys. I mean, I've only been recording four and a half minutes, so you figure in a matter of probably five minutes here, we completely lifted this entire lot, regraded it back out. Now, obviously, we'll have to come in and get up closer with rakes and, uh, you know, kind of fine tune it. But the overall, it pulls the weeds out, it agitates everything, and uh, just makes it overall look a thousand times better. And after it rains and this kind of resettles a few times, you know, it's only going to look even better. So we'll take it. I went ahead. I'll walk down here and show you guys this end. She just got that center strip left. I came down through here as well. There was a big mound right here and a huge mound down at the end, like down at that other one. So I kind of pulled this curve, this big mound that was here out and drug it down there because it can all be in one spot. It's not going to hurt anything. And then I just kind of brought it away from the building. And that's what you want. You want it to slope down away from the building so the drainage looks good. The drainage operates good, I should say. We'll probably do this maybe once or twice a year down here just to uh, stay on top of things. We will be taking care of the weeds uh, a lot better, so we shouldn't have to uh, do this very often. I think I'm gonna have to stop her here in a second. She's having too much fun. And I was having fun too. I just needed to give my neck a break. <laughs> I'm impressed with this thing, man, for what it is. So we're staying about two feet away from those grates as well. We don't want to loosen that material up so that it doesn't wash down into our grate. What I'm thinking, though, we might. We'll see how it does. It's still pretty compact. But if we need to, I can always uh, rent a roller. Ruben rents those as well. And come in here and I can re-roll it all. I don't know, we'll see. Keep your hands on the wheel, ma'am. Keep your hands on the wheel. It's dropping in temperature significantly, though. It started raining on us pretty good earlier, and uh, now it's really starting to cool off. We both came out here in hoodies, like, oh, do do do, it's 55 degrees, and now it's like, sun went away, and, uh, yeah, it's getting cold, but we're almost done. It's almost coffee time. So it looks a lot better. We still got some, uh, I guess, hand tuning to do. Finish it up here, uh, mainly around the entire perimeter. And then uh, up front here, we're trying to figure out what we want to do. So they had some uh, river rock or something in here. A uh, bunch of different materials now, some blacktop. So we're not sure if we want to try to clean that up and uh, fill in where the new stuff uh, will be. Same thing kind of up through here. But the overall agenda for the day, which we're trying to not overwhelm ourselves with this place, guys. We're just kind of trying to take care of it as uh, we have time and as the season slows down. So we're hoping at some point to redo these walkways. They're in pretty rough shape. So these were pretty much completely covered with rock uh, up until probably right about this one here. And I've been slowly but surely digging them out, uh, just kind of putting some of the material over here, putting some of it into the parking lot. But uh, yeah, overall, still got more here to dig out. There is a walkway under here of some sort, which uh, appears to be in pretty bad shape. We were kind of hoping to get the city of Canton out here uh, to redo the walkways and, you know, just dress this up a little bit better for us. But uh, from the way we understand it, if we want to redo the walkways, uh, we have to pay for it. So it's unfortunate, but if we could be wrong on that, we were just kind of told that, uh, you know, by a family member. So I'm not sure if you guys have any uh, help or anything with that. If you know of any way that we can get these walkways done uh, to make them better so that even, believe it or not, right around the corner is a school uh, so the kids can walk by. And they do walk by here. We've seen them quite a few different times. 
uh, you know, coming through here. So we'd like to get this uh, taken care of. And I know, I believe these curbs are all supposed to be like wheelchair accessible. So uh, maybe getting that done too, uh, if we get some kind of assistance from the, the city here. We are wanting to make this place look a lot better and that's just our overall agenda. So we do have something ordered for this as well, but I just wanted to walk you guys around. We'll cross that bridge whenever they come in. Uh, we've ordered them and when they get here, they get here. I'm not talking about the signs. Those will be here uh, probably within a month or so. But uh, yeah, overall corner looks a lot better. If you guys remember, if I, if I have a shot, I'll put it up here, what it kind of looked like just a a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, whatever it's been now since we took ownership of this facility. So we're in Canton, the city of Canton here, guys, right next to the Timpkin Company on uh, Harrison Avenue. If anybody needs storage that happens to come across this video, all we have are 10 by 10s. We have a couple of those available as of now and one six by six. Uh, so yeah, corner's looking really, really good. And then here's the other side. And I'll kind of plug photos up here if I still have them, guys. Kind of just showing you, you know, what we've achieved in, you know, a week or two. We're really just working on getting things working back in the proper order. Gutters cleaned out. Uh, you know, some doors that needed a little bit of work. Just uh, tightening up hinges and stuff like that. And uh, re-greasing doors. And, uh, yeah, just maintenance stuff, guys. I think we are going to go ahead and take that rock out at each end. Uh, just so it doesn't look as bad at the end and it allows the water to go over the property that way if need be and whatever comes this way that will be as well so the biggest thing is keeping the water out of the units altogether which we don't have that problem anymore but uh yeah man we're ecstatic we're uh renting units we've rented two so far uh as of right now we've only had one tenant that uh, hasn't paid for the month, so that's good. We don't really have uh, too much headache on that part. Now in a month, uh, if they don't pay, we will probably auction that unit off. This is not gonna be, this is not gonna be storage wars, is it, TQ? No, it's not. So once we got here, kind of figured out that jacket was still back there. So I offered it to TQ, but she decided to freeze with me. No, I ended up being okay. Right, she uh, she got on that vent track and I didn't get back on it the whole entire time. So <laughs> it is pretty fun. It is it's fun. A, it's a unique machine that it's all wheel drive and they all turn together. It's kind of kind of weird, but it takes you a minute. It's definitely way different than our, our Toro stand on. Did your phone stop recording? I don't know. No. Okay, I heard a weird ding. <laughs> it was probably inside the building, but hey, good job today. You too. It's a rainy day here in Ohio, but uh, you know, us, we're never gonna just let a good day go to waste. And we got a mow lined up and uh, got some cleanups lined up, so. We have, we always have something to do. And that's part of it. I, yes. You know, that just kind of uh, reminded me a little bit. Guys, I know we're going into winter here. Some of you may not have saved as much, maybe uh, you didn't have as much work, maybe you didn't make as much. Uh, whatever reason you have that potentially you don't have enough income to get through winter, this is something that happens every single year. Uh, and, but we understand it's really hard for newer guys and gals coming into this industry to make it through winter, especially if you're not snow plowing. But I did want to throw a few ideas out there to you just kind of uh, reminding me of is simply guys, take your pride and just put it to the side, okay? You're not closing your business if you have to go get another little side hustle, another job, a job just to get you through winter. Even if you go in and apply anywhere, just tell them, say, hey, look, I have my own business. I'm just looking for seasonal work, seasonal you know, work. get People you through winter. People are always hiring for seasonal work. Absolutely. We just heard of a new one this morning when we were at breakfast. It was Amazon. Amazon Flex, where you use your own vehicle to deliver Amazon packages. Yeah, and from what we understand, they're paying buku money. Like, I told TQ, I'm like, man, I'm about to get, hop on that. Like, <laughs> I'll start taking the plow truck out, man, start delivering packages. But you simply use your own vehicle. You can pretty much do your own times and uh, get paid pretty darn decent from the way we Uber understand. Eats. Yeah, I mean, anything that you can drive with, use your vehicle, 
Uh, I mean, deliver pizzas, it don't matter. Just take pride and get it out there and uh, get yourself till next season when you can restart up and grow the business and grow the business. That's what we did for years, guys. You know, we're not, I know right now you guys see the all the new stuff and the new mowers, the new equipment and yada, yada, yada. Not all of it's brand new. A lot of it's three and four years old, but this stuff took us time to accumulate and purchase and a uh, few things financed that would better us and get us further into the business. So 10 years, anniversary, 10 year anniversary. Yeah, it's coming up here yeah. in just a few weeks. You know, we've been so busy TQ actually, that reminds me again. Uh, it was my four year anniversary since I had gastric bypass. Yes. And that was like eight, nine days ago, December 7th, I believe it is. And you're doing great. Yeah, fantastic. We're, we're maintaining. We fluctuate up and down a couple pounds here, there, whatever, you it's know. But holidays, it happens. <laughs> yeah, back on point, guys. Take your pride, put it aside, get yourself through winter, and then get back at it. Don't look at yourself as a failure or you didn't succeed if you have to go get a job just to make it through the season. Because next year, you might make enough where you can buy a plow or, you know, do uh, Christmas lighting or maybe uh, just something to get you through winter where you don't have to go get that side hustle. But... Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, keep mowing, stay productive, keep growing, keep making money, boys. Keep making money, boys. That's what it's all about. Talk to you later. <laughs> TQ out. Peace. Bye, guys and gals. I gotta use the restroom. We gotta go. <laughs>